Organization and storage just got a whole lot easier to manage in the bed of your F-150 with this sliding drawer system from Dect. Designed to be a perfect fit for your bed size, each of the two sliding drawers pull out to provide countless storage and organization options. Each of the two drawers lock to provide safety and security to give you peace of mind when your truck is unattended. With a 2,000 pound deck load rating, each system is custom cut to fit the exact specifications of the bed of your full size pickup truck without any drilling needed. It's built from 100% recycled high-density polyethylene which is co-molded into a steel tub frame and installs utilizing your truck bed's existing tie-downs. To preface the install, let's go over how these pieces assemble to make life a bit easier. The small rectangle slot in the C-channel indicates the tailgate end. Also, the vert bosses have a hole at the tailgate side. The deck halves each have stickers indicating their correct side, and the stickers will also indicate the tailgate side. All of the hardware bags are clearly labeled and noted in the written instructions on where to use them. Now we will mount the ammo can storage boxes to the C-channels. The bolts thread in on the channel side, not on the can side. The tapered ammo cans will mount on the cab side of the C-channel. Now we will line up the deck and C-channels. Bolt them together starting with the bolts that hold in the ammo cans. Until we had both sides bolted down, we threaded the bolts loosely to allow some room to move the pieces around slightly. Next up, we'll be bolting the driver's side deck half to the center vert. You can see how it lines up with every other bolt location and will eventually mate perfectly with the passenger side deck. Once the deck is bolted to the vert, set the driver's side deck assembly into the truck bed. The axles will be inserted into the center vert as well as the tailgate ammo can. Tighten them down enough so that the axle end is difficult to spin with a half inch wrench. Once the axles are finished, slide the deck into place on the driver's side. Insert the J-hook through the center hole on the driver's side ammo can and loosely attach it to the tie-down bracket with a spherical washer, flat washer, and a nut. Now the passenger deck can be lifted onto the bed and set into the center vert to line up with its corresponding bolt locations. Bolt it in and install the J-hook tie downs in the same fashion as on the driver's side. The cab side ammo cans have a cover plate for the J-hook access holes. Place the passenger side axle into the ammo can and tighten it down. There is a left and right corner bracket for each drawer. You can bolt these in place using the tube brace with two bolts to connect the two corner brackets. Insert the axle through the wheel and tighten it down to the drawer bracket. There are two wheels per drawer. From the underside of the drawer, place the springs between the holes. The red spring goes on the right side of each drawer. Each spring arm should point inward, not outward. With the spring in place, slide the clevis pin through the spring and flush with the inside hole. Use the same process for the left spring.
Insert the handle ends between the spring arms. Rotate the top of the handle towards the clevis pins, pulling the spring arm downward. When the handle hole is lined up with the clevis pin, push the pin through the handle hole and through the drawer hole, then install the hair pin through the clevis pin end. On the sides of the drawers, align the holes in the L braces with the drawer holes. Insert the bolts and weld nuts opposite of each other and tighten them all down to install the L braces. The drawers can now slide into the deck system in their closed position. Lift up on the drawers to insert either a 4x2 or a 4x4 piece of wood to lift the drawer up. This will allow enough space to bolt in the remaining wheels. And for the finishing touches, the ammo can caps can be installed, the bottle opener bolted in, as well as the ruler. The drawer seals can install to the edge of the drawers with the wiper facing the cab side. So we ran the deck system on this, uh, this build. We'd never run the deck system before and we wanted to see what it was all about. So we saw it and I thought, you know, well, it's going to take up a lot of the bed height, which I didn't really like. Thought about running a tonneau cover on top of it and I was really worried about you know, once I read that it was like a plastic, I was just worried about how strong it was. And uh, they advertised that you can put 2,000 pounds on top of this. And so I thought, all right, well, let's try it. Let's put the four-wheeler up there. And you know, if I can take the four-wheeler and have the storage underneath it, that sounds pretty good. So we tried it, and from the from the second they dropped it off on the freight truck, we knew this thing was stout. I mean, it, it'd take a couple guys to pick the box up. So you can see, I mean, you can hear it when we open these drawers. There's nothing, we just toss stuff in here. There's, you know, there's a pickaxe in here right now i mean like i said you're not gonna you're not gonna hurt it yeah so we have there's a couple of upgrades that you can do for these um they don't come with the locks but you can buy the locks so i thought that was definitely something i was gonna gonna want was to put the you know if i had the rifle in here or something like that that i definitely wanted to lock it i found that i'm not using the locks very often i just put the tailgate up and lock the tailgate so once you do that you're not going to get into here anyway so this is like their jobber box so I can see a contractor putting, you know, his tools in here, his batteries for his cordless stuff, taking it into a job site, putting it in here, coming back, just dropping it into place. And stuff. There's just not a whole lot you can't put in there. They've got some seals on here. And after all that off-roading we did up there, there, it wasn't even dusty in these things. And, and I'm not saying that they're waterproof or anything like that, but I mean, we had, uh, you know, the guns were in a, in a case and those cases weren't even dusty. And you saw how dirty the truck got. So the metal plate up here is just a, um, it's got a lot of measurements. It's got a ruler on it. It's got conversions, fractions, decimals, stuff like that that contractors may, may need. They also offer a rail system that bolts down here and here. It can support 500 pounds. So the guys with the big coolers going out hunting, everything else, you could tie down to that. Um, you also don't lose the ability to tie down to your actual tie downs in the truck. That is what mounts this down and what holds it down but we were able to tie through these, what they call their ammo cans. We were able to tie through those and still tie the four-wheeler down. But if you run those different rails that they sell, then you could tie down stuff just to the top of the system. So the ammo cans have like a cup holder on top of them that you can set here. They've just got some storage in there. Again, it's not really a waterproof storage, but it, it makes it so that that's not wasted space. The other thing I was kind of surprised at is, you know, even the hatchet like this is not, it's just set in here. And after driving it, you know, hundreds of miles, I'll come back here and everything's in the exact same location. And I'm kind of surprised that stuff doesn't bounce around or really move in here. They also have some dividers that you can buy to drop in there. Um, again, I thought that was something I was really going to use. I kind of figured out that once you put a box in there and start loading it with gear, the gear kind of holds everything where it needs to be. Check out all of the installed photos on the deck system by clicking the link in the description below. Also head on over to our Facebook and Instagram pages for more cool daily content.